Hi, this is Jatin Pranathpe with my analysis of yesterday's India versus Afghanistan match. India were playing at the Kotla yesterday and I'm sure that would have made Virat Kohli a little emotional walking into bat at his home ground, especially after a stand has been named after him. Let's get back to the game now. Uh, Afghanistan for me is uh, one of the most talented sides in the world and a uh, personal favourite of mine. Uh, they also have a lot of enthusiasm but what they lack is some astute captaincy. Yesterday they were defending a way below power score of 273 but I thought they should have used their spinners more in the first 10 or 15 overs because the only way you're going to win such a game is by taking wickets. That also might not have made any difference because Rohit Sharma was at his rampaging best. Uh, and, and when he is in this mood, there's very little that an opposition can do, especially in white ball cricket. Let's dive into a couple of uh, nuances about Rohit's batsmanship. Uh, his hands on the grip are a little splayed, a little spread. Uh, and as, as my great coach Hanuman Singh would say, that the bat has to be an extension of your hands and Rohit completely embodies that. The second big strength which he has is his balance at the point of delivery. Uh, that balance and that still head position allows him to play in a wide arc from point to mid off and from fine leg to mid wicket. Now when a batsman has such strengths on the offside and on the onside, unless you are as metronomic a bowler as a Josh Hazelwood or a Shaheen Shah Afridi, then you know life is going to be tough for you. So yesterday he hit boundaries and sixers at will uh, and when he's in such form you know even a 370 380 target uh, would have been easily got what this actually does for india as they go into their next crucial encounter against pakistan is that it shows that their captain is in prime form now that is extremely important because i feel that rohit will come out playing very very aggressively against pakistan uh, and, and that will be the tone which he will take for the rest of the tournament as well a slight side show of yesterday's game was a small knock uh, by Shreya Sayer, a confident knock and that puts India in a slightly more comfortable frame of mind knowing that their number 4 also has got a few runs uh, to his credit. So all in all, uh, a great win by India, uh, you know, an ab absolute demolition act by India and they now go into the next game uh, in a very very positive frame of mind and if they win against Pakistan then they become the most feared team in this tournament. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.